The Darth Vader comics by Charles Soule introduced us to the two oldest named canon Sith Lords, Momin and Shah. Today we'll go through everything we know about Momin's story. Even as a child, Momin could be considered an artist, a sick and twisted artist, but a young boy who desired to create and to elicit emotion from his audience. Unfortunately, he reveled in making people feel disgusted, and it looks like he achieved that by killing animals and creating art with their corpses, one of the well-known early signs of a sociopath. So he was imprisoned by the people of whatever planet he grew up on. He didn't stay long until he was set free by a red lightsaber-wielding woman named Shah. She taught him about the Force and the dark side. I think it's interesting he was unaware of any potential he had in the Force until he was a young adult. Maybe with his age came the pride that did not allow him to accept the role of apprentice. He killed Shaw, like Sith apprentices tend to do, and continued to teach himself. He did not consider himself a master, had no desire to teach, and set himself apart from other Sith. He continued to create art with the intent of glorifying the dark side. This eventually led him to create a weapon powerful enough to burn a city to ash. He planned to freeze the destruction in time as an eternal shrine to the dark side, and the planet he chose for his masterpiece was Mustafar. The Jedi interrupted the ritual, and Momin lost control of the Force, and he was apparently vaporized, leaving behind only his helmet. Mustafar was not destroyed, but it was forever changed. The Jedi took the helmet back to the Jedi Temple, where, as far as we know, it was locked away for at least a thousand years and likely far longer. It remained hidden until the rise of the Empire. When Jocasta Nu infiltrated the former Jedi archives, she unlocked the secret room to recover a list of Force-sensitive children, but was stopped by Darth Vader and the Grand Inquisitor. After her death, Emperor Palpatine took possession of the helmet and was able to communicate with it, possibly by wearing it. When Vader traveled to Mustafar to construct his fortress, his master gifted him the helmet of Lord Momin, knowing it would be useful. Vader soon discovered it had the ability to influence and possess people, and so the two Sith Lords began cooperating to build a fortress that could tune the powers of the dark side and pierce the veil between life and death, allowing Vader to see his wife once more. But Momin deceived the young Sith, creating multiple failed iterations of the fortress that disturbed the natural order of the planet. This led to an all-out attack by Mustafarian natives by the time the real castle was complete. As Vader dealt with the assault, Momin pierced the veil himself, resurrecting his physical body to live once more. He expressed his disgust with the current state of the Sith as he battled Darth Vader. He fought admirably, but was crushed to death, perhaps permanently killing the physical Momin. However, the helmet's powers were not dormant. Years after the Battle of Fortress Vader, Darth Sidious still kept the helmet with his collection of Sith artifacts. When Lando Calrissian and a team of unwitting criminals stole the collection, it began to possess and influence them one by one, forcing Lando to retreat and destroy the morbid museum. It's currently unknown if the helmet survived the explosion. As of right now, the story of Lord Momin is complete, but I think it's possible we haven't seen the last of him. With Soul's Darth Vader series wrapping up, he's preparing more Star Wars projects. I'm completely speculating here, but I could see him tackling the ancient Sith more directly. He's been telling the story of Momin since 2015, and he obviously enjoys writing the character. I think it would be a good way to start exploring Old Republic content, especially because of the relationship Momin has with the rest of the Sith Order. They considered his views to be heretical, so that would give Sol free reign to explore almost anything without affecting the larger story of the Jedi and the Sith. Momin isn't interested in any of that, he's just interested in serving the dark side. So we could learn a lot about the Force, but still save that more well-known narrative for the big or small screen. But who knows what Sol has coming up next, or any of Lucasfilm's plans for the Old Republic. Momin was a really interesting character, and I'm glad we got to learn so much about him in the comics. Let me know what you think of him in the comments, and what you hope to see from him in the future. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out our Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.